everyone, this is Nancy Chauhan and I'm super excited for more serverless 2024. Thank you so much for inviting me. Today, I'm going to talk on Catch Me If You Can, how local stack policy stream identifies least privileged IAM policies. So let's get started. Awesome. So here we are. Who am I? I'm a DevRel engineer at LocalStack, CNCF ambassador, AWS community builder. I've also founded Women in Cloud Native community for all those women who are interested in Cloud Native space. You can find me on my Twitter account or you can check out my website. And the most interesting part, I love cats and traveling. So let's begin. Uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about IAM permissions, IAM policies for all those who are new to this. So IAM is a AWS service for managing both authentication and authorization in determining who can access which resource in your AWS account. So as you can see my diagram, there are two parts to it, which is identities and permissions. Now, identities refer to various mechanisms that AWS provides to identify who is requesting a particular AWS action for authenticating that person or entity. So this includes IAM users and groups and credentials and roles. Now with this, AWS evaluates uh, with the help of policies uh, that when a user makes a request, if it's given a permission or not. So permission in the policies determine whether the request is allowed or denied. Now let's see a quick example for this. As you can see on my screen, for example, if you have a EC2 instance that needs to access a simple uh, S3 bucket to get configuration data, you should only allow read access to the specific S3 bucket that contain the relevant data. And you can achieve this with the help of IAM policies. But it follows IAM least privilege, which is like the principle of granting only the permission required to complete a task. So it's one of the AWS well-architected best practices that can help you build securely in the cloud. So here is a policy. I've been talking all about policy, but this is how it looks. So I am policy is a JSON document, as you can see, that defines permissions to control what actions are allowed or denied for specific AWS resources. As you can see, we did in the previous slide. It allows you to manage access to resources by specifying which action can be performed on which resource, following the principle of uh, least privilege. So finally, let's talk about shift lift in testing and security, one of my best topic. So uh, shift lift approach in general aims to integrate security measures early in the development lifecycle, which enables developers to identify and mitigate those vulnerabilities before they actually reach production. So one of them is uh, testing the IAM policies locally using local stack to verify that your application access controls are properly configured or not. So by default, the IAM access controls are usually checked when the app is deployed on the cloud. However, using local stack, we can create and test the IAM policies very early in the development cycle. So moving next, what exactly is local stack? We did talk about local stack that it can really help you in early in the stage, early in the in your software uh, development cycle. But what exactly is local stack? So local stack is a fully functional cloud stack uh, where you can develop your AWS cloud apps locally. You do not need AWS account to basically test your AWS cloud applications. So what you really need to do is uh, you need to ship a Docker image, which is easy to install and start up. So local stack is going to work as a Docker image and uh, it supports uh, more than 100 plus AWS APIs and growing. Um, it has compute, Lambda, ECS, EKS, various databases, DynamoDB, RDS uh, for messaging, SQS, and there are some other sophisticated APIs like Athena and Glue. So this is all about local stack. Let's quickly see uh, easy to hello world. So over here, I am creating a bucket uh, and local stack is running uh, as a Docker image. So it's able to do that. I'm also able to create the user, I am users, and then I'm also able to list the users. So this is happening with local stack. Local stack is running parallelly as a Docker image. So let's finally discuss IAM policy stream, which is the main topic of the lightning talk. So IAM policy stream is a feature which is provided by local stack. Uh, it generates a steady stream of policies along with the corresponding principles or resources. So when a user makes a request, it initially displays the principle or resource to which the policy is 
will be attached. Now, this is typically a service resource for resource based policies or an IM principle for other cases. It displays the suggested policy, which we are going to see later in this demo. Uh, this feature basically aids in identifying the correct permissions for cloud application and it can help you spot logical errors. So one catch is here that by default local stack is a permit all system, which is like no IAM restrictions. Now this is going to help you to find uh, the right sized IAM policies, which we are going to say later. Uh, it also supports uh, IAM enforcement. Uh, that means when you start local stack as a Docker image, you have to put a flag in post IAM equal to one, which allows for a more seamless transition into real AWS or production type of environment. So uh, yeah. So let's uh, see quick demo. Okay, so over here, my local stack image is already running over here. And I'm just going to create some uh, resources. Like I'm going to create a bucket and one SQS. So yeah, as you can see, the bucket has been created. Now I'm going to quickly move to our web app. So as you can see our web app here, which is app.localstack.cloud, you can do the same in CLI, but I'm just showing you in the web app because it's more neat. So I, you can see over here, I am policy stream. Um, I, so when I basically uh, did all those commands, it created the policies for SQS and create bucket. So as you can see, these are resource identity based policy, which have been created when I created those resources locally using local stack. Awesome. So now we have discussed about uh, the IAM policies. We have also seen that how it is generated on local stack web app. Now let's move to a complex architecture because that's how things work in the real world. So as you can see my screen here, we have an architecture of serverless image resizer uh, with a lot of buckets, lambdas, SQS, S SNS. Uh, so in this application, a simple front end application facilitates the image uploads uh, uh, and uh, there's a separate lambda generates pre-signed URLs for direct upload and uh, file uploads to this bucket triggers a Python Lambda that handles image resizing. And then we have another Lambdas to handle other use cases. So uh, you can find this application on our GitHub in local stack samples. Um, so I'm not going to show you the code because we are just concerned about the IAM policies here. So what we are going to learn is that how we right size the IAM policies with local stack IAM policy stream. So in this tutorial, we'll dive into deploying a web app. We'll assume, we'll, uh, we'll assume that the web app is already running. Um, and I'm going to put in post IAM equal to one when I start my local stack to mimic a real world environment. So now let's move to my terminal. So I already have this application in my um, in my environment. I already have sample serverless image resizer. You can also clone this from GitHub. Now what I'm going to do is there's a there's a deploy.sh uh, script which basically deploys all the resources and everything. So I'm just going to uh, run this. Now what's happening parallelly is that local stack is running with the flag in post I am equal to one. So as you can see the error message, it says uh, the role defined for the function cannot be assumed by Lambda. This means that this has got no permissions as it happens in the real world. But now let's move to IAM policy stream web app. So when I was doing this, it created all the, it created the policies. It's creating policies for all the actions. Uh, so this is what I'm trying to say. As you can see, it has created policies for Lambda list function URL configs. It's getting for get dot get function. Now, what you can do after this is that you can leverage these policies to basically include into your Terraform files. Uh, you can also check that which policies you want to include and what roles and permissions you can give you want to give. So this is how you can basically leverage this feature to create the policies in your Terraform files or you can use to test the security. So I hope you enjoyed this demo. Um, so conclusion is that local stack IAM creates a setup that resembles the live AWS as we have seen, and you can write and debug your policies locally uh, and also in collaboration with CloudPort feature. IAM live policy stream generate policies for all the API calls, which you have already seen. So this is the conclusion for the lightning talk today. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can join our Slack community, which is localstack.cloud slash Slack. Or if you want to get in touch with me or have any questions for me, you can reach out to me on any of the social media. Thank you so much.